Hi everyone, I'm Liz Peterson and welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In today's video, I'm going to teach you not only how you can add custom fields to pipe drive, but also how you can teach your team when they need to fill out which fields just by how you configure the fields themselves. As you all know, I do a lot of videos on automation, and this is just a video on how you can configure your settings to teach the right process through the process itself. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you like this content, please subscribe. And if you're interested in working together one-on-one, -on -one, check out the links below, which have more details about how we can work together through my consulting services. So with that, let's dive in. Here I am on my pipeline view, and I may be brand new to PipeDrive, just having my sales team manually add new opportunities through that add deal button. Fine. So here in this form, you can see there's a lot of fields that the user is prompted to complete, but some of these fields may not be relevant to your sales process at all, or may not be relevant this early on in the process. And so you can customize which fields show up on this form. So as an example, if you are a B2C company, you may never have an organization and that is fine. That is perfect, but you don't want this organization here, or it's one more thing you have to teach your team to ignore within the system. So I'm going to first show you how you can customize this form. Over here, you're going to go to company settings and then data fields. And then here I'm looking at all of the lead slash deal fields. And down here are all of the de default system fields. And you can see this add view. They're all checked. That is saying that it is going to show up in that add deal view. So I'm going to remove the deal value, say actually, you know, that early on in the process, we don't have a value and I'm going to remove organization and I will also remove the labels say we're not using them visible to is a really common one that you don't need visibility settings get pretty complex pretty quickly so more than likely you don't want your sales reps choosing the visibility at all and then i'm going to also remove expected close date we really don't know that this early on or maybe i set it via automation based on other things that happen in the process so now if i go back to deals and then if i click the deal view i might need to refresh let me refresh the page here now if i click add deal you can see this is a much, much, much simpler form that my sales reps need to complete in order to get a deal into the pipeline. But now let's say I want to add some custom fields. There are loads of custom fields that you'll probably want to add. I love custom fields in PipeDrive. So I'm going to go back to custom settings and data fields, and I'm going to add just a few here as examples. So custom fields, I'm going to click here. And the first one I'm going to add is source. I always want there to be a source for any deal that comes in. Selecting the type of field, I have other demo videos specifically on this, so feel free to watch those, but I'm gonna do this one as a single option and I'm gonna put just a few options in here. Okay, so then I have these options over on the right hand side. So where is it shown? Do you want it in that lead deal add view form? Yeah, I do. When they're adding a deal, they should know the source, so they should be putting that in right then and there. Then these quality rules. So required is a professional plan feature. So you'll only see important if you're on a lower tier plan, but I do love both. So if I make this required in all of the stages, then a deal cannot be added without this field being completed. And for me, for my process, that's important. The salesperson should always know where this lead has come from. And if they don't, they should feel more than comfortable asking. So I'm gonna make that one required. Then I'm going to add a date field, so demo date. One of the stages we have is demo scheduled. By the demo scheduled stage, we should have a demo date, right? Makes sense. So I'm gonna make this a date field, and then I'm gonna make this required, but I'm only gonna make it required in the demo scheduled stage, and then I don't need it to be required to mark the deal as lost, because if we lose someone in qualified, then we may not have a demo date, and that is totally fine. Then in important here, 
It's going to, by default, select everything that is also required, but this is where you can teach your team what needs to be input and at what time. So I'm gonna make this important in the contact made stage because in order to move the deal into demo scheduled, you need to have this field completed, okay? And then I'm gonna add one more just for sake of demo here. And so I'm gonna add products and I'm gonna just do, actually I'll do a select multiple here. I'm just gonna have product one, product two, product three as examples. And then this one, this one is not gonna be required for me. I'm gonna just make this one important and I'll make it important in all of the stages. That's fine, right? So whenever we figure out what products they're interested in, we should be completing this field. That's what I'm indicating here. And you'll see, I did not make this one as showing in the lead deal add view. Okay. So I've got that set up. So now if I go back to my deals here and if I click add deal, you'll see that I need to refresh this page again. <laughs> Let me refresh. Okay, so now if I click add deal, I can do demo person, the title is going to automatically default. Then here I can add phone email. That's great. You want those to show up if the uh, person is brand new. I can choose the pipeline and stage and then source. I'm going to actually leave that blank to show you what happens. Demo date I don't have yet. So I'm going to click save and it says, hey, you have to complete this field. I cannot save this until you complete this field. And that's because we made it a required field for every single stage in the pipeline. So I'm gonna add that and click save, right? So I've done my first step of teaching my team, hey, you always have to have a source for any deal that you add into the pipeline. So then if I go into this deal now, let me click off this little prompt. You'll see now that products here, this is showing up at the top, this like please fill, fill section. So you're gonna see any important or required fields in this section. So with just three detail fields, it doesn't uh, do a ton to help, but imagine if you had 30 different detail fields that needed to be completed throughout your sales process. This is a way of highlighting which of those are most important at the given stage that the deal is in. So if I move this forward to contact made, and then let me <laughs> refresh here. Okay, so now you see I have the demo date and the products as important. And then if I go to demo scheduled, it says, hey, I can't actually take that action until you put in a demo date, because if you're moving it into the demo scheduled stage, there sure as heck better be a demo date, right? So I can either add that date and click save, which will then move the deal forward, or I can close it and the deal is gonna stay in this stage. So if I move it again, and then if I add the date and click save, it will move forward. Okay, so there, great, it's saved. And then if I come in here and just for sake of demo, remove that and if I come back and then if I put the date in, so if I do it kind of as is required by the system and then move it forward, then I don't get that pop up at all. So again, the required fields can really help teach your team these fields are absolutely crucial. If you don't put them in, I'm not going to let you move the, the deal forward in the system, whereas important fields can serve as a reminder here to fill them out. And then customizing this add deal form is super crucial. It's going to save your team a ton of time and energy in poking through all of those fields that are otherwise there by default. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you liked this content, please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.